What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Destiny. In the last episode, we made it through the hardest encounter in the Pit of Heresy dungeon, one of the most frantic, at least. Uh, got through the platforming section, which leaves us with only the final boss. Now, before we jump on into this, I'm going to explain my build here really quickly. So I'm still running Arc Strider for this. I'm running Star Eater Scales, which is a, a exotic that particularly superpowers supers, which is going to go great with Arc Strider's uh, Gathering Storm, the strongest hunter super in the game. I still have Solo Operative on for the simple fact that Solo Operative is a perennial mod that is going to be available in every season, at least as far as Bungie is concerned. But what I am not going to be using is this mod, Weakened Clear, just so that I can demonstrate that this works without this mod. While this mod is very good and would absolutely help me in this encounter this is a very season specific mod that i do not want to use because it's not going to be it's not going to make this strategy as viable or it's not going to show as viable in future seasons so what i have here is wither horde wither horde is an exotic that creates blights on the ground but if you hit an enemy directly with it it actually creates blights inside them if they die it will then drop the blight on the ground and if it doesn't it'll just do damage over time for a while I then have this this uh, linear fusion here known as Storm Chaser. Now, this is not going to be able to reach its fullest potential because its main perk firing line requires that I need two teammates around me that I don't have. But linear fusions already do so much damage anyway that I'm still going to try to make this work. And I have Wolf Tone Draw because it does arc damage. This is all going to go in conjunction with Harmonic Siphon on my Dreambane Cal, which is going to allow me to generate orbs with orc, uh, uh, arc multi-kills, which then in turn will give me the orbs of power I need to charge up my Feast of Light, which will then allow me to get the most powerful potential damage out of my super. Now, let's get into the mechanics of this fight as I put this down. Okay, and let me also make sure that my other mods are all in place, which it doesn't seem like they are. I don't have a Linear Fusion Scavenger mod, which I do need. I have that at least, and I probably want a Grenade Launcher Loader uh, bow. I guess if I can fit it, I might as well. And then, other than that, I think we're good. All right. So, remember the first encounter where we had to deal with three Disciples of the Broken Blade? Well, they're going to return for this particular fight. You're going to have three sword bearers that roam around the central area. The boss is right there. That is Zolmak, the Instrument of Torment. He is who we are supposed to kill. The sword bearers are going to move around the location, and you need to grab their swords and take out each of the disciples which are within the towers. The difference is, is this time you're going to have this guy shooting stuff at you throughout the entire fight. Once you have killed all of the disciples, and you have taken their orbs and dunked them into three spots around the... Uh around the map, and I think that guy's running around because I shot an arrow. Um, once you've dunked all three orbs in, you will then have a window of time to deal damage to the boss. He's going to create a wall of green around the crystal within the circle that he's in, and you can only damage him within that circle. However, while you are only able to damage him, cursed thralls and regular thralls are going to be spawning in, trying to hurt you to prevent you from doing extra damage. In situations like this, having a Well of Radiance Warlock, for instance, is incredibly strong because you can basically tank everything that gets thrown at you and continue to do damage all the while. I'm going to have to get a little bit more creative here. So I'm going to have to try to get this super to go off while also avoiding damage all the while. I'm going to try to use Wither Horde to help me out, and then I'm going to use my Linear Fusion for everything else. The reason I'm okay with using this particular Linear Fusion, though, because it's a three burst and hard to hit, is that he's got a really, really big head, so it's not that hard to hit his crit spot. So that's one of the few things about him that's really nice. But this is going to take multiple damage phases, and there is absolutely no way we're going to do this in one try. So let's do this thing. So the first thing we're going to want to do as soon as this begins is we are going to want to get ourselves a sword uh, bearer and get its sword as quickly as possible. Now, I'm actually going to kite them away so that I can get rid of all of the ads that are around all of the uh, that are around all of the disciples because I well one. I want those orbs as much as I can get them because I would like to get to Feast of Light times four, which I will lose if I die here. But then I need to go after the actual. Uh, I need to go act after the actual blade itself. So let me do that really quickly. I am absolutely still going to be using things like combination blow to my advantage. Let's keep getting damage in here. Hit them with this. Luckily, these guys aren't actually too hard to kill. But I'm going to take this sword 
and we're gonna use it to then kill the first disciple. So I'm gonna try to get out of the range of the boss here, so where he can't hit me, but this guy can attack me. Come on, dude. So remember, one, two, block. One, two, block. Just do this over and over again. You'll eventually get a supercharged shot to use. And the thing about the, the boss that is incredibly important to know is that he kind of moves around the arena in a specific pattern. So what I would advise doing is taking the void charge and not dunking it where he's at, because he will knock you away. Instead, go to like the opposite side and dunk it over here. That way you're a lot safer as he slowly meanders over there. So I'm gonna get this knight next as he continues to fire stuff at me. There we go. All right, let's take this relic. And we're going after the wizard next. All right, here we go. So I haven't killed the acolytes here, unfortunately, which is gonna make this a little harder. But if I can just fire as much of that as possible at the wizard, let me see if I can move around here. There is actually a backside where there is no opening, which gives you plenty of places to heal up and also protects you from the boss. Let's do that. And now do that. I can't believe I missed that. Oh my goodness. Well, I should be able to just kill this thing out right now. So let's grab this void charge. Again, take it to the opposite side. I am still in absolute desperate need of Feast of Light times four. I want that before I do anything here. So I'm going to start uh, looking for enemies to kill. Oh, hello there. I'm going to hit you with that while I kill the thrall around you so I can get these orbs. So that's times three. And there is times four. Sword has been dropped. All that remains now is the Shrieker, which is obviously the easiest one to do. Now, I would highly recommend, and I'm going to drop that so I can kill these guys with the grenade, going to this side so that the boss can't hit you as easily. And then just hold the line. Let it shoot at you. Take it down. There we go. All right. Now, let's do this thing. And I'm going to clear some ads here before I get too big for my britches because these acolytes will still remain if you don't take care of them. But we're going to want to head on over here. That knight seems to be watching me. But we're going to want to head on here, dun uh, dunk this, and as soon as you dunk it, get out of the way because he is going to launch that attack right there. That is going to hurt if it hits you. Now hit him with this, hit him with that, watch out, and now we can start doing damage. So now I'm going to want to hit him with as much as I can. I am also going to be creating little pools around me to keep the Thrall from getting all the way over to me. This is a fair bit of damage, but it's not as much as I would like. Okay, 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 okay. And this is what we have to watch out for. Okay, that's really, really risky. Yeah, keep watching out for his attacks. Okay, okay, okay. I am taking a lot of burning damage here. Come on. I can get lucky here. Okay, as soon as this crystal starts to surge with energy, get out of there. Because once he causes this explosion to go off, you die instant death. No matter what you have, no matter how many overshields you have, you're just dead. So you do not want to be in the middle of that. Now, what I'm going to do, because I no longer have a super, is I am going to specifically just go around and add clear for a minute, because I want to get orbs so that I can use not only Feast of Light, but I can also get my super back. There's one thing to start with it at the beginning, but it's another thing to actually have it after the fact. So let's do that really quickly as I hit them with all that damage. I'm going to clear all the ads over on this Disciple now. Let's just, just make it so we're, it's easier to deal with the Disciples this time around. There we go. All one at a time. Don't fall off the cliff. Thank you. There goes one. And this Wolf Tone draw with the Dragonfly is super nice to have. I am a big fan of this uh, bow. It's dropping lots of heavy, too, which means that I can pretty liberally use it if I want to, actually. So while I try to get my super back up, might as well start killing these guys. Don't you follow me over here. The sword bearers should never follow you all the way up to the towers. If they do, that is incorrect in a glitch. So block all that damage. Keep hitting them, keep hitting them. Uh, luckily, the splash damage on that effect is pretty strong. So you should be good. All right, I have... I am supered up. I just need to... Okay, he is not right here, which is going to give me the opportunity to start doing damage with other things. So let me do that really quickly. Can I... I need to get some orbs now. So hold on a moment. 
Uh, let's do that. And then that. Get those orbs. There we go. Feast of Light. All right. I'm going to take this up here, and we're going to deal with this guy next. All right. Come on, knight. Yep, yep. I'm kiting you around right here. Same thing as before. Just be patient. You never need to get super overzealous in this fight. Just take all the time you need. There are absolutely more efficient ways to do what I am doing here. But don't just all you need to do is just be as patient as possible regardless of whatever build you are running. Trust me. It can all pay off in the end with patience. All right, there's the last one. Now for this one, I'm going to try to get all of these acolytes over here so I can get their orbs. Thank you. Feast of Light times two. All right, I want times three now. Oh, come back. Thank you. Did that drop it? Yes, he did. Okay, times three. I am amplified. I don't know if there is another... There he is. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to get it from that. I might have to rely on the thralls for the next one. So I'm going to jump on over here and out of the Shrieker's range, and I'm going to try to bring all these enemies to me. So let's do that. There we go. Oh, don't dodge that. Well, luckily, there's an orb on the ground there for me to use, so I'm going to take that and let me hit him again. Oh, come on. Stop freaking do He's just dodging for no reason, and that sword is in a terrible spot. Also, the Shrieker is still shooting at me. Can you not stand on top of that, please? Take it. Okay, we're going. We're fine. Okay, times four. Here we go. All right, I just need to get out of the way of Zolmak so I can do this in peace. There. All right, now we need to dunk this thing. And let's see if he hangs out on the last one. He is not, which is good. It's on that side. I need to hurry as fast as I can before he goes on over to it. Extinguish. Here comes the flames. Get out of the way. There we go. All right, we're good. Make sure that you get that direct hit. Otherwise, you're in trouble. There's some damage. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, uh, there's some more. Here comes the flames. Keep hitting them. All right, that's some good damage. That's some good damage. Now we just need to be careful wary of those guys. So let them walk into that. I'm going to hit them with that right there. Perfect. This is working out great so far. Get a reload off. Sword bearer, can you not come in here? You do not belong in here. There's some damage. I'm just trying to make him... That knight will not leave me alone. Okay, I'm going to do one more shot before I leave. All right, time to get out. Time to get out. Oh, okay. Third damage phase, we will have him, especially with the super. And you... I am mad at you for chasing me down that whole entire time. That was incredibly obnoxious. All right. So I believe I did leave some heavy over here, so I'll take that. I can use it to my advantage if need be. If I can just get to Feast of Light times four once again, that should be more than enough to kill him. But you have to remember to stand inside the circle or your damage is not going to count, and that includes lingering damage. That includes Wither Horde. That includes... The super, you need all of these things to be lingering, otherwise it's not going to work. So now, that's all those are cleared. Ow. I'm gonna hop on over here really fast. What's up, guys? Hi, here, have that. Thank you. All right, now that, that orb has been dropped. Let's do that really quickly. If I have to get a melee in here, I will. But so far, I think I'm fine. Let me do that really quickly. Kind of get away from all this nonsense. There we go. That should be another one. Get another orb going. I'm going to head back now to pick up the orb that got dropped over here. And I'm going to take this sword and I'm going to deal with the wizard first. This one's already almost out anyway. There you go. Stop your firing for a moment while I keep hitting you. Come on. Be relentless if you can, but don't get overzealous. Okay, we got it. Woo! Now, I'm going to hang out for a moment to let my health recharge for a second here. Just kind of crouch, make sure he can't hit you. All right, let's go. You know, as much as recovery is no longer the powerhouse that it once was, it still is nice to have, especially in situations like that where you don't know if you're about to get freaking ganked. So let's do that. 
and hit all of those guys with that damage. There we go. I think I killed one of them. Almost did, at least. Perfect. All right, let's take this sword now. We're going to deal with the Nightman next. I'm willing to take a hit there just to do a little bit more damage and kill him faster. We almost got it. I just need to get my Feast of Light up. Because times four is a huge difference from times one and times two. It might seem like it's not. It's going to be negligible. It is not. Trust me on that. At this point, I'm just going to wail on him. There we go. I want time. It's times four or bust. So if I can kite those thrall around to this side, let's extinguish this last one, or second to last one. Hit the thrall with that. There we go, there we go, there we go. Now if I can bring them over to me, get that headshot. Is the other orb here? Yes, it is. Hello. I'm just gonna move on past you. So we're at times three. Now there's still some ads I left over by the Shrieker. I'm gonna get rid of those next. And this will give me the opportunity to get uh, times four. There we go. So let's just kill these guys with melee attacks. Don't need to do anything fancy here now. All right, I think that'll do. Now I need my sword. All right, so I don't remember if I left one. That Shrieker is relentless. Did I kill him over here? I don't know if I did. I'm not seeing any knights. There you are. All right, come here. Run at me. There we go. Get you with that extra damage, and that should be enough to kill you. All right, take the sword. Last bit. Kill the stupid streaker. Make sure not to stand right directly under it either. That's not going to work as fluidly. But down it goes. Grab the charge. We're just going to want to kind of hop around Zolmak here. Oh, of course, you spawn right there. You know what? I'm not even going to willing to deal with that this time. Just die, please. Oh, come on. Thank you. All right. Thank take that dunk it. Here we go. Here comes that. Make sure that lands, and that should do it. Now we just need to kind of kite around, but it should have him dead. And there we go. That is the pit of heresy. What did it drop? There we go. Got me some Dream Bane strides. And we can actually take a look at the roll on that one. So 65 actually... Almost good. If the low stats were strength and mobility, I'd be a lot more happy with it. You also notice that it has a higher energy yield as well. I like that it's high in resilience and discipline, but not so much that it's high in strength and mobility, so I'm going to pass on that. But you notice the stat roll is really good. In fact, the helmet that I still have equipped to this day I got from the Pit of Heresy dungeon, which is this Dreambane Cowl. Still the best helmet drop I've ever gotten. So if you're wondering if there's a reason to still run this dungeon... That is it. I mean, not just that. There is also, it is also on weekly rotation with other dungeons for pinnacle drops as well, so you can max out your level. But it still actually yields very good stat, uh, high stat armor, high stat armor that still absolutely competes with the best armor that you can get in the game today. But guys. That is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Destiny. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. In the next episode, we're going to be recapping the four seasons of Shadowkeep, Season of the Undying, Dawn, Worthy, and Arrivals, before we head on into another dungeon known as Prophecy, our last hurrah before the beginning of the Beyond Light campaign. I will see you all in the next one.